it's the realisation for me that cancer was, for me personally, and this is not for everybody, um, was definitely a manifestation of something I needed to learn. And cancer allowed me to heal myself emotionally and it helped me connect internally, emotionally and spiritually. And then the, the natural progression of that was then to take that externally and connect with other people. One of the biggest things for me is working with and talking to women, particularly around cancer and cancer treatment. You know, when I say to women who, who I know question life after chemotherapy or when they're when they're sitting there with no hair, or when their breasts have been removed, you know, you're really questioning your physical self-worth in those moments. And when I can sit there and say to women, well, I have had chemotherapy, I have had radiotherapy, I have had a mastectomy and reconstruction, you know, I am 50, and, you know, and you, so you can sit there that far along and go, and this is, you know, this is great. I mean, I'm not saying I look great, but I, I, I think I look all right. You know, so, so it gives them the, the confidence to think, you know, oh, it can get better. Because when you're sitting there with no hair or no breasts, or potentially not even an idea of the future, it's really hard to stay positive. But when you have a, a great role model in front of you going, hey, look, you know, it can be, something wonderful, amazing that sometimes that's just what people need. Being 50 is actually a brilliant time of life. Like really for me it's been, uh, it was like starting again, it was like a, a new chapter, it was like this is the start of my life, it's so exciting. But you know, I mean look, you know, it sounds ridiculous but even, you know, on the odd days where I've said to somebody, oh yeah I'm 50 and they go, you're not 50 and then you go, God, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> just from a self-confidence perspective, you know, sometimes just to hear that, you just go, yeah, I'm doing all right. Yeah. You're the piece of gold. You know, drawing attention to how breast cancer and how women's bodies will change, potentially through treatments or just through uh, the mastectomy, as I, I mentioned, and a reconstruction. It's about recognising that, that that too can be a beautiful uh, shift in your body as well. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. It can be celebrated. And so I think it was, yeah, the ageing, celebrating uh, getting older and celebrating our bodies uh, post-illness as well as just, you know, being a woman. Mm -hmm.